What's up everybody, I'm Tim from Timber Ridge Gifts and in this video we're going to be making bleeding heart wax melts. This is this month's inspiration project from Candle Science. It's sort of a wax melt within a wax melt with a really dramatic color contrast that makes for a great surprise while the wax melt is melting. So let's hop right into it and go over our supplies. For our wax we're going to be using an Eco Soya Pillar Blend from Candle Science. For our actual wax melt molds you can really use just about any size you wanted to to fit it to the uh, holiday or occasion that you were making them for. Uh, because it's Valentine's Day, we're going to be using hearts. This is just a uh, heart muffin tin that I found at Target for like $9. And we're going to need something to make the uh, smaller embeds to go inside of them. You can really use just about any size or shape that you have. They're going to be hidden inside. So nobody's ever really going to see the full shape of it. So it doesn't really matter what they look like. But just because they fit and just because I want to stay with the heart theme, I've actually got a smaller heart silicone mold. Those will actually fit inside the uh, bigger wax mold perfectly. When it's all said and done, I'm really the only one that's going to know that there's actual hearts inside. But it's just going to make it that much more fun for me. Uh, if I didn't have that, I can use something just as simple as a uh, six cavity clamshell mold. Or if I didn't have anything at all, I could just make a little bowl out of some aluminum foil, pour the wax in there, let it harden, break it into some crumble. So we've got our mold set. Now just like any good wax melt, we've got to scent it. For that, I'm going to be using Japanese Cherry Blossom from Candlewick, which to me is the perfect Valentine's scent. And next, we're going to need our liquid color dye because this is a Valentine's Bleeding Heart Wax Melt. We're going to be using red from uh, Nature's Items. And last but not least, I've got a little bit of glitter. Uh, the finished product is going to be just a plain white wax melt with a red heart in the middle. But if that's a little too plain for you, we can liven it up just a little bit and add a little bit of glitter to the top. Gives it a more fun look and it's still going to have that, uh, that Bleeding Heart effect. That's really all we need, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we got to do is get our molds prepared. If I had a silicone mold, it wouldn't matter, but all I've got is this uh, tin baking sheet. So we're going to go ahead and hit it with just a little bit of mold release. All right, now we're going to go ahead and get our wax ready. I've already got it melted down. I've got it melted down to about 160. We're going to go ahead and add our dye and our fragrance oil. So when we add our dye to the wax that we're going to use for the embed, the color guide on the bottle says 7 drops per pound to achieve the darker shade. Because this is a small colored embed inside of a larger white wax melt, and the effect I'm going to want is that color really pouring out of there. Instead of the suggested 7, I'm really going to load it up. I'm probably going to put about 15 or 20 in here. And we're going to add our fragrance oil to that. For this I'm using about a 10% fragrance load. And now we're just going to pour our embeds just like we would anything else. And again, you can use just about anything. I just happen to be using hearts because that's what I have. The sizes work out. And I just kind of like the idea of having hearts inside of my hearts. So we've got our embeds cooling. Now we can go ahead and start on the first part of our wax melts. All we're going to do right now is just fill up about half of the cavity. Uh, what we're going to do is once all that's dried, we're going to put the embed in, then we're going to continue filling up the rest of it. So we're going to go ahead and add our fragrance oil. Again, that's about a 10% fragrance load. And we're just going to fill up half of each cavity. Just to liven a few of them up, I'm going to add a little bit of glitter. Because it's a wax melt and it's going on an electric burner, it's not going to touch an open flame. We don't have to worry too much about adding flammable items to it. Obviously, if it was a candle, I wouldn't want to add plastic glitter. But since it's a wax melt, I can kind of get away with it a little bit. So now we're just going to fill up half of each cavity. We're just going to let all that cool. Once it cools, we'll be able to come back and finish this up. It's about an hour or so later, our embeds and our bottoms have dried. Now it's time to put all these together, put the top layer on, let that cool, and we'll wind up with some awesome wax melts. So now we're going to take our embeds. Again, you can use any type or shape of embed that you need to. I just happen to use hearts because I like the way it looked. And that's really all I had. So now we're just going to take it, place it in the center. So we've got our embed set, now we're going to add our top layer of wax. Again, we're going to use the same type of wax with the same fragrance load. The only difference this time around is we're going to be pouring a lot cooler. We're actually going to be pouring around 130, which is a lot cooler than you would normally want to pour this wax, like say if you were making a candle. But since we're just making wax melts, we don't have to worry about any type of glass adhesion or whole lot of shrinkage or other imperfections. So it's not going to make that big of a deal. The reason we want to pour cooler is so we don't actually melt our embeds. We don't want to melt those and have any type of color bleed. So now we're just going to simply fill it up till the uh, till we reach the top of the cavity and the embed is covered. So 
There we go. The trick is to uh, line the bottom of the embed right up almost flush to the bottom of the actual wax melt. So that way when it's turned upside down in a wax melter, you don't have to wait that long for the embed to start bleeding through. So now we're just going to let these cool for about another hour. We'll be ready to pop those out, put them in our wax melter. It's been about an hour later. Our bleeding heart wax melts are completely dried. Let's go ahead and pop them out of the mold. You can see they all turned out perfectly. You can either have the plain white or you can decorate it just a little bit with the glitter. These are a great project. Not a whole lot of supplies or advanced equipment or techniques involved. Just a simple wax melt with a surprise embed inside. Especially for someone who likes to post on Facebook or Instagram, these can make really great ASMR videos just like these. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more DIY and advanced candle making techniques. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next time.